One of the major aspects of my victory over runaway blood sugar is the simple and relatively painless act of testing my blood sugar. I believe in blood sugar tests. And in the video that you're about to watch, I'm going to show you a test I did on myself and my wife which demonstrates how I can achieve low blood sugar and still get good nutrition for breakfast. This has to do with the lowly omelet. Too often we think only of omelets in terms of eggs, cheese, and maybe a little bit of sausage. But we went beyond the traditional to demonstrate that you can enjoy good nutrition and keep your blood sugar levels under control. As we consider nutrition further, let's talk about a traditional breakfast, an egg omelet with cheese and sausage. I had this kind of a breakfast recently. There are almost no carbs involved with this breakfast, although I did add a low-carb muffin and sugar-free jelly. These would have bumped up the carbs a little bit, but not much. I tested myself before the breakfast and my blood sugar level registered 104. I ate the omelet and the low-carb muffin and then tested myself one hour after I finished. This time the monitor showed 108, a scrawny four-point rise. This demonstrated that the meal was safe, which wasn't news to me. I knew that it would be. But the next morning I modified the omelet a bit to add more nutrition. My wife Benedicta joined me this time for the meal and the test, and after testing ourselves before and one hour after the meal, this is what we found. Well, we just took our blood sugar levels, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but before we do, let's talk about the meal. Sweetie, what did you think about that meal that you had here about an hour ago? It was outstanding. I loved every bit of it, and I loved every bite of it, and it was great. And um, I think it's a win-win. <laughs> yeah. We're going to do that again yeah, sometime. Yeah, I think we need to. Well, you know, uh, I have to admit, I enjoyed it more than the previous omelet. that was just plain old cheese yeah. and uh, sausage and egg. I mean, this one was interesting. It had uh, spinach and it had tomato and it had onions and it had green peppers. Uh, and uh, all those flavors mixed with the egg and the sausage, mm -hmm. uh, it was great. And so, yep. yeah, we've got to do that again. Yep. And uh, the question, of course, is what did it do to our blood sugar? Well, Benedicta doesn't have really too many issues. You started out at 96 before the meal. Yep. What did your What was your score at one hour after you finished? Um, 102. 102. So that's just six points, a six point rise. That's good by anybody's standards. And so that meal is not only uh, nutritious with all those veggies mixed with the eggs, but it's also, it's a safe meal. Yep. You've got no worries about blood sugar problems and, and blood sugar damage uh, from high blood sugars. Mm -hmm. In my case, it was higher. It was 109. 109 is, is really not a good morning fasting blood sugar, but that's what it was. And, uh, you know, I clearly do have some issues. But an interesting thing uh, with my blood sugar is it tends to often go down after a low carb meal or one yeah, that's got I a few slightly. Yeah, I was wondering that. Uh, that mine went high, and you got so lower. mine was one hundred nine before I ever ate the meal, and that was a fasting blood sugar. Although it was a late breakfast, and sometimes you get the dawn effect, but that's a whole other story. But after an hour, an hour after we finished the meal, it had gone down to ninety eight. So I saw. Uh, what about a ten point decrease? What yeah, do you think about that? That's that's hard to explain, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard to explain, <laughs> and I think you know, um, it was really great and uh, outstanding. Well, you know, the, the the interesting thing is, and and the important thing is that that meal is safe for me, and it's obviously safe for you as well. Yeah. Uh, my blood sugar did not rise into those dangerous levels at all. In fact, it decreased a bit. Uh, so. I got away with it. That is, I jammed a lot more veggies in. This was not, you know, when you're eating eggs and sausage, there's just almost no carbs. When you add some vegetables, you're adding carbs. Tomatoes have carbs. Onion has carbs. Spinach, very, very little. But they're all relatively low carb. And so we threw in all those vegetables. We raised the nutritional level tremendously. Much more nutrition from that omelet than the one before without the veggies. And yet, my blood sugar dropped down to 98, uh, no problems. And so I know that uh, as long as I eat meals like that, I'm safe. I'm good. So yeah. you provided a meal that was not only great tasting, mm -hmm. but it was good for me in terms of my blood sugar. 
As yep. we said, that's a win-win. Now, even if it had risen a bit, let's say I started at 109 and ended up at 125. That wouldn't have been as, as ideal, obviously. It wouldn't have been as exciting to, to discover, but still that would have been safe. You know, as long as you can stand her 130, 140, you're, you're not doing any damage. And the, the objective when you eat meals is not just to keep low numbers. After all, if all I wanted was low blood sugar numbers, I could eat hamburger and drink water every meal and I would, I would have low numbers for sure. But the goal is to get some nutrition as well and still keep those numbers in the safe range. So don't be afraid to experiment and add some things that are going to provide nutrition. Now, if I had added a mango, a couple of bananas, and an orange, what do you suppose would have happened to my blood sugar? I think it would have skyrocketed. <laughs> exactly. It would have gone up a lot. So you gotta, you gotta use reason here. You don't wanna add too many carbs. But some of these vegetables are relatively low in carbs. Yeah, they do have carbs, but they're relatively low. And they really don't do much uh, damage or much of a, they're not much of a problem for a type 2 diabetic. So this, as my wife has said, is a win-win, tastes good, gives you added nutrition. So next time you make an omelet, don't make one of those old, boring, dull egg and sausage and cheese omelets. Throw in some veggies and add to the nutritional value. Well, I hope you found that helpful. The reason I share some of my own blood sugar thoughts and tests and triumphs is to inspire you and give you hope that you can find victory for yourself. Now, your victory may not look like mine, that's not important, but most type 2 diabetics can find complete victory in the area of blood sugar and often without the need for pills or insulin. Work with your doctor, watch those carbs, and test your blood sugar often. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. That'll cause YouTube to rank it higher in the search engine and more people will get to see it. And consider subscribing to our Beat Diabetes channel so you can keep up with all the videos that we post. God bless and see you again soon.